surface and the inside is one big equipotential well the surface is equipotential surface the inside plus the uh, region plus the surface together will be called overall region the whole conductor is a equipotential region okay now if i took this and i had a point charge here q and we want to find the potential here actually if we knew the potential there we can quickly find the potential here can we find this potential can we just suppose i just had a uh, charge and let's say this was neutral can you quickly find the potential do you think it's easy what do you think if this wasn't there can you find the potential here can you find the potential there what would be the potential here at a distance of r what will be the potential at a okay if this wasn't there that would be the potential what is the potential at a contributed by q always kq by r but that's not the question once i put this guy it's a conductor if it was an insulator uncharged insulator what will be the potential at a it will continue to be kq by r but suppose it's an uncharged conductor but why do you think that should bother a should it bother a should only bother things inside no how can it bother things outside because the moment i put a plus charge you're going to have a lot of negative charges and some positive charges here right now if i have some negative charges here and positive charges there this causes a whole bunch of field lines earlier field lines which are going like this are no longer going like that fields everywhere have changed right since there's a change in the field there is a if you walk from a to infinity all along the path the field has changed why do you expect the electric field integral to remain the same it won't be the same so the v at a has changed it's a new v at a okay similarly you can't then use this point and say potential there is kq by this distance why because all these fellows will also contribute but if i could have argued that these surface charge distributions let's think of it as q1 q2 q3 q4 and i want to know potential at a i can write potential at a as the sum of everybody's contributions it's a mess but i can write it i could write k q1 by r1 where r1 would be this plus q2 kq2 by r2 and so on all this for the conductor plus k q by r this is for the extra charge that we have you can write it the calculation looks very messy except under certain cases some conditions but you understand that you can write it why can we write it because ultimately a conductor however it behaves it has to follow superposition principle the only power a conductor has is to rearrange the position of the charges it can do that in a way in which it can makes the field inside zero so you know what will happen you don't know what the charge distribution is but it will rearrange so that the field inside is zero but once the charge distribution is this the field here or anywhere is decided by superposition it's not like a conductor does some magic conductor still follows all the laws of electrostatics one extra bit that we'll have to worry about a conductor is it will it has the ability to rearrange the charges that it has that's all that's only extra power a conductor would have is that good enough to be able to make this zero yes it turns out it's good enough and because it rearranges we don't know where the charges are For, but if i thought about a small conductor like this or a small conductor like that and i put a charge q 
Okay, it doesn't matter what the shape is. So let us take this random shape. It is going to take this charge and place it like this, right? If I ask you the field here, we don't know because we don't know how the distribution is. If I ask you the field very close by, we do know it is sigma by epsilon naught except we don't know what is sigma. But if I ask you the field here, far away, what would the field be? It will be kq by r because all these things are so close that it still behaves like a point charge because whatever it did for rearranging, it never managed to produce charges. If it has q, it is still q. And if all of them are equally far away, because they are quite far away overall, so then it is still kq by r square will be the field and kq by r will be the potential. Because from here to infinity, it still behaves like kq by r square. So therefore, it is like a point charge for a small enough conductor, if you go far enough. Okay, so conductor does not behave very differently except for placement of the charges. Understood? Okay.